Two years ago, 14 years old, the 14 year old man. Lockdown had just hit, COVID just hit, and now we're in lockdown for six, seven, eight months. And that was where everything changed. And in this video, I'm going to give you the complete guide I took. Yeah, me, That's, this is what I took to loving myself or becoming self-aware or whatever you want to call it. This is the complete guide. But first of all, let's go over what I was feeling before I went through this transformation. I was a very anxious kid. I was a skinny kid. I was a very anxious kid. And my source of happiness, my source of validation came from other people. That was it. Other people, especially women. Yeah, if I got a compliment from a woman, especially an attractive one, like, bro, my mood would go absolutely insane. Which is, again, a good thing because we are social creatures. It's normal. But I would. I would value their opinion more than mine. And that was a problem. And I knew that I was not going to spend the rest of my life like that. So this is what I did to transform my mindset. Let's get straight into it. But before we do, if you haven't already yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button and also leave a like on this video for more weekly videos just like this because I'm helping you become the best version of yourself and level up your mindset. So it's free, it's a win-win for both of us. But let's get straight into it. This guide is not long. It's very simple, but it's not always easy. There's like three steps I took, three, four steps I took, and they're very simple. Let's get straight into it. Number one. I want you to sit down for half an hour, like where I am right now, in your room, on your desk, maybe even going for a walk, this works as well. And I want you to have a really, really good conversation with yourself. And I want you to be completely honest with yourself. Here are the few, here are the few questions I would ask if I were you. What do I want out of my life? Really dig deep. What do I want out of my life? How am I going to get there? And what is holding me back from getting there? They're the three main questions I would ask. But if you have a specific problem, ask questions about that specific problem and be completely honest with yourself. Do not put a mask over your face. Yeah, it's going to hurt your ego when you be honest with yourself. Yeah, say you're addicted to pornography like I was. Yeah, the reason I watch porn was because I was an anxious kid and the only way I could get that instant hit of pleasure was from watching those dirty websites. That hurt me a bit. Yeah, that my self-worth went way the fuck down. But it was needed for more. Yeah, sacrificing the moment for the future. That's the fucking definition of it. And after this, I want you to write down your answers. Yeah, how do you feel about yourself? How do you really feel about yourself? Write that down. Write down everything that comes to your head. For, for me, when it was back then, I knew I was an anxious kid. I knew that my main goal in life was to impress especially women. And in return, get their number, go on a date with them, have sex with them. I know this sounds really strange, but it's fucking true. I'm not gonna lie to you. Cause that's again, that's gonna please my ego. I'm not gonna lie to you. So I can get that hint and hit of pleasure. That was my fucking goal. That was, that, was the, that was the plan that I had in my head. After being completely honest with myself, that was the plan. And that's where I had to change it because I knew I didn't want to live life like that. So step one is being completely honest with yourself. Step two, set a plan. Set a plan. Now, what do I mean by this? You once you have all your answers, where do you want to be in life? What does your mindset look like? What does your family look like? What does your environment look like? Everything. What does everything in your life look like? What would be perfect? What would you add to your life right now to make it better? That's the mindset you have to have in this certain exercise. You're setting a plan. And once you have where you want to be, set a plan to get there. Yeah, if you want to make a million dollars next year, you must set a plan to get there. Simple. You must set a specific plan and the plan might change, but for right now, set a specific plan and work towards it. Step two, plan. Step one, be honest with yourself. Step three, start small. Now, when I went, when I started my self-improvement journey, I'll put this in quotation marks because everyone calls it a different thing. I'm just gonna call it that for now. 
or the journey to love myself or whatever, I started really small. Yeah, I was still watching pornography for two months on my self-improvement journey, but I started working out. That was it. That's all I did for two months. And that was probably a, a long period of time. It was probably too long. But all I did for two months was work out. That was it. And I naturally stopped watching pornography because I was focused on working out. But when I turned it into a main goal, I knew how to stop, so I did stop. That was the thing that was holding me back. So for two months straight, I ate right and I worked out. That was it. I didn't do any other habits I do now. I started small. I focused on the main goal. Because my main goal was to get bigger for basketball because I loved the game. Back then, I used to play, I used to want to play pro. And I was a skinny kid, so I had to get bigger. And also for my self-respect, for my self-worth. I wanted to look good. Simple. Everyone does. So that was my main goal. And that's what I started with. And then, two months down the line, I added meditation, cold showers to boost everything to make my life 10 times better. That's when I added those habits and that changed my life. Simple, I started very small. Yeah, I built my foundation, my main goal. I built the foundation and I just added on from there. And, and guess what? Like I'm so proud of myself I did that. I was so good at starting. I'm, just gonna, I'm, I'm gonna be completely honest with myself and you. I was very good at starting. Yeah, I didn't waste no time. I started small and I just worked my way up. After you start small, <sighs> That's where, again, you add other habits. And a big habit for me was meditation. Now, why is meditation so, why would you put it number one, along with your main goal? It's the best chance to observe your thoughts. And so many people have this conception of, I wanna control my mind. But really, the way to conquer your mind is to let everything go. Yeah, it's, it's like it's like getting into a fight, right? Take it this way. To really win a fight the right way without anyone getting hurt is not to go fight this other person back, but walk away from it. You yeah, walk away. This is just an example, because sometimes you have to fight. I'm not saying to never fight, but I'm also not saying to always walk away. That's the way to truly conquer your mind if you let go of all the egotistical attachments. Simple. When you meditate, you observe your thoughts, as I said before. And this is a great way to get to know yourself because being in the present moment is like zooming out. You are zooming out. It's like you're looking upon yourself. And that's why I turned, I made a recent video about turning my life into a video game. Yeah, it's like I'm in third person mode. Yeah, I am observing myself. I'm not observing myself 24 seven because that's kind of impossible. But when I need to, I observe myself. When I know that negative emotions are, I put that in quotation marks because there's nothing, there's negative and positive are all percep perception. Yeah, there's no such thing as negative or positive emotions. It's all perception. Yeah, when I know, when I, when I realize I'm getting attached to a negative, a negative emotion, anger, frustration, jealousy, whatever. When I realize I'm getting attached to that, I observe. And that is key to loving yourself more. Being able to observe, having that masculine energy, being able to observe is very, very important. Now, step four. Well, that's it. There's only, there's only three steps. Have a good conversation with yourself. Be truly honest with yourself and write down everything. Yeah, what is holding you back right now? What does your dream life look like? If you could add one thing to your life, what would it be? Step two, plan. Step three, Start small and step four, keep growing. Simple, that's it. That's, that's what I did to love myself. <laughs> Simple, or on the path to love myself. Because again, like it's all kind of an illusion. Loving yourself is a broad term. Like and it all comes down to what loving yourself. In my eyes, loving yourself is a level of self-respect, a level of self-worth, being confident in who you are. That's what self-love is in my opinion. Yeah, being confident in who you are, that's it. And that's how I got to where I am today. But I really hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you wanna become a member of the Discord, make sure to click that first link in the description below. Uh, we're at just over a thousand members right now, which is absolutely insane. The community is really amazing. So if you're, again, looking to live your best life, conquer your mind, first link below. But that's really it. Yeah, leave a comment as always about what you wanna see next. 
for next week's video. But Jack, where do I start? I'm gonna leave a video on the end screen uh, about the five minimalist habits I added to my life that made it 10 times better. And that's where you could start. So I'm gonna leave this video up soon. It might be up now, I don't know. If you wanna know where to start. But that's it. Hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.